Find all the non-negative integer solutions given square root of a plus square root of b equals square root of 2009. So instead of squaring both sides, we first move this term onto the other side, then square both sides. So square root of a equals square root of 2009 minus square root of b. And then square both sides. a equals 2009 minus twice of square root of 2009 times b plus b. Now this time we only have one term that contains square root. And notice a is an integer, b is also an integer. So in fact 2009 can be written into Forty-one times forty-nine. Right. In fact, let's uh, double check that. Two thousand nine divided by forty-one equals. If I have four, four times that four. One six, six, three, nine, nine times that one. One nine, so nine thirty-six. Yes. No problem, it can be factored into that. So that way I can just rewrite it. Okay, 41 times 49 minus twice of 41 uh, times 49. And in fact, 49, 49 square root is just 7, so we just take, take that out. All right, take 7 out, 7 times 2, 14. Still have square root, so we have 41 times b plus b. And so in order to make sure a is an integer, non-negative integer, we have to make, at least make sure that this, this number is a positive integer, a non-negative integer. And so since 41 is not a square number, so which means to make up a square number, I have to make sure b contains at least a factor of 41. So that 41 times 41, that's a, a square number. And as for b, as for the rest of factor of b, we ha also have to make sure it's a perfect square. So in other words, we just have to make sure b is in the form of 41 times n square, where n is a non-negative integer. Now, so that way, that way a is equal to 41 times 49 minus 14 times 10. square root of 41 times 41 times n squared plus 41 n squared. So that way, a is equal to 41 times 49 minus 14 times. So I just take 41 out, right? 41 perfect square times 14 times square root of n squared. That is n. All right, we're going to determine n. There is some restriction. Plus 41 times n squared. So that way, a is a really a positive integer, non-negative. So the remaining is that what kind of value can n take? It cannot take all the value. So here we say square root of a is non-negative. So this is non-negative. So square root of b is less than or equal to square root of 2009. So in other words, obviously, b must be less than or equal to 2009, right? Because otherwise, if b is bigger than that, this would be definitely negative. So this is our restriction. 
So in other words, since b is less than so, 41 times n squared is less than or equal to 2009. Divide, every, divide both sides by 41, right? We know that 41 times 49 is 2. So immediately n squared is less than or equal to 49. So immediately n is less than or equal to 7. And bigger than or equal to 0. 0 is allowed, right? So if if n is equal to 0, b is immediately 0. If b is 0, then a is just 2009. All right, so, so that way, immediately, we have eight different solutions, eight sets of solutions. Right? So we just, uh, we just substitute, substitute n equal 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? one by one into, into here, we work out B, right? Then subsequently we work out A, we work out A, right? So N, N equals zero. For example, uh, first solution, first one, N equals zero, B is equal zero, right? At the same time, zero, zero, A is equal to 2009, right? Second, second solution, n is equal to 1, b is equal to 41, All right, at the same time, you have 1, 1, so a is equal to, like, factor out 41, 49 minus 14n plus n squared, and a is equal to 41 times perfect square. So 7 minus n, I believe, quantity square, right? So when n is equal to 1, in this case, 36, right? 6 squared, 36, 41 times 6, uh, for 41 times 36, right? so on and so forth. I just uh, skip all the remaining of the steps, just simple calculation.